This is Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I wanted to share a little journal that I have available. I'm going to be listing this um, on my website. I've mentioned that I'm still working towards getting that tutorial published on how to do the journals with just sewing the pages to the fabric strips and then sewing them into the journal with a sewing machine. I love doing it this way and I'm happy to share the process. I wanted to, before I do the actual tutorial video though, make a couple more journals in that style to make sure that they turned out the same. I don't really, there's no template for putting the, you know, the pages in. It's just sort of a, you know, gauge it with your eye sort of thing. And it, they turn out, they turn out pretty even, I think. Anyway, this is a little journal. It's birds and herbs. And I just love the way this turned out. It is very distressed. The cover is made from file folders. There's only a tab on the back of this one, and that's where I've got this cord or string packaging string, something like that. I've just got that through the hole here that was in the file folder, and I added a rusty sort of um, washer there. I guess that's a washer. I have this little tray of hardware in my stash, and I'm always adding to it. So I just pulled that out. I did glue it down first and then I put a few stitches around the perimeter just to hold it into place for sure. You can see there are some fabric pieces. I think that came from a piece maybe that Ava sent me. And the other pieces I just had in my stash. It's a process or a combination of gluing things down and sewing things into place. One thing I like about working with a really small journal like this is that a few of these pieces I sewed into place after I had the pages in. You know, you can fit the cover underneath the, what is that, the presser foot. Um, you know, you can just do your stitching. You have room. Of course, you can't get this far into the book because the pages get in the way. And I use the backwards uh, option to stitch backward if I get to a place that's awkward. So. I just love a sewing machine. Anyway, I think I think I've told you pretty much all there is to know about the cover. Now, this one again is highly distressed. I have added a couple of little touches on the front. There are some little gold threads that I just laid underneath this fabric, kind of a flower rosette or whatever. That's made from some satin material that I have and there's just a little piece of lace there. You can see the stamp of the beautiful lady. I love that stamp so much. There is a little bird. I think that came from some ribbon from Ava as well and thank you so much for that. So getting into this one, I also started using some of the beautiful trim that came from, or not just trim, it's beautiful fabric from Boho Daydreams, Sheila Gingrich. She has got the most beautiful sari silk collections of, you know, different types of saris, this beautiful, beautiful silk fabric. It's just gorgeous, very embellished, very beautiful. I believe she's been collecting for a long time. So again, the pages are sewn in this journal is five by six. It's a really sweet little size. It's pretty much finished. You could add some more things to it if you desire with glue and you can keep adding layers of paint. There is more room to, you know, you could add some flip out pages or you can keep this like it is just to enjoy. I don't know how many times I have gone through this just Looking at it, I had it last night sitting on the couch, just kind of going through it again and again as we were resting last evening. So every page is just kind of layered, grungy. There are beautiful birds, words, try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. And we've got a little bird here more beautiful silk on the edge 
of the pages Light Tomorrow with Today and there's a beautiful gross beak. You can see there's a lot of gold in this book. Gold is one of my staple colors. I do love the gold. Look at that beautiful, beautiful fabric from Sheila. And I wanted this one to have some color and yet still feel grungy. Uh, this is a couple of layers. There's a piece of wallpaper underneath here that felt a little too bright, so I just put over the top of it a piece of tissue paper. And that's a beautiful image. It's kind of hard to see because it's dark, but she is holding um, a little finch. And you can see the piece of fabric with the birds in the bird's nest. Another beautiful piece of fabric. There is some of that wallpaper border. I love that. I tried to darken it up a little bit. It was kind of a bright piece. I do love that wallpaper. But I wanted to see some of the herbs in here, so I left that one where you could read it. This one as well. And you can just see. I mean, there's room to do more work in here. I, I could keep working on it, but I'm happy with it the way it is. And something I've been thinking about with art with making journals, collage, or anything like that, when you're working on something, if you don't like it, it's not done. We all make mistakes. But when you're working with layering and with collage, that's my thing. If you don't like it, it's not done yet. Just keep adding layers and take things off. You know, pull things off. Don't worry if it pulls some paper off or you don't want to rip a page in half, but I think you know what I mean. And I'll show you a page we're coming up on. There's a little poem by William Wordsworth, written in March. My birthday's in March. There is uh, the American Goldfinch. More beautiful trim. Another little image from the wallpaper. This is one of my favorite images ever. All of these beautiful old-looking bird cages. That came from a bird book, so I scanned that to be able to use that. I just, I love it. And I put some little corners, the book corners on this page. I have a few of these and I wanted to just try that and see how it looked. I do like it. They were not quite big enough and I didn't want to put them on this. There's too much fabric on there, too much layering. But I do like to sometimes put them on book pages. I love this page. I think this image came from the Graphics Fairy. I love the swallows and just how black they look against the gold. This again is a couple of layers. You can see the wallpaper underneath and then the tissue paper on top. I've used little bits of the Distress Oxide. I love that. I keep that on the desk all the time. This is a beautiful page. That's a butterfly from a napkin and I just put that down with Mod Podge. I only use Mod Podge on the backs of things typically. I don't like to put a lot on the top because it, it gets sticky and it seems like that never quite completely goes away. This is a little embellishment that was on some of the fabric from Sheila Gingrich from Boho Daydreams. I think it looks like a little owl, and I just kind of distressed that along with everything else on the page. It was a brighter purple. I do like it like this for this particular project, and I just stamped the words Wise Owl. This is pretty. I just love all the gold. And there's the beautiful stamp again. There is, uh, is that a hawk or a falcon? There's a beautiful butterfly. I bought a stamp recently that I really like. It's a male stamp. <laughs> really fun. It's got all these uh, little phrases here. Air parcel post, do not bend, first class mail. So... Special delivery is what I stamped right there. Layering is so pretty. I just put the word gold here. You can see there are a few little polka dots from a stamp there. Um, there's a lot of gold paint around this. Very faintly you can see the word uh, herbs there. This is a page where I put something down and then didn't like it so I pulled it right back up. I love that effect. Again, you don't want to tear so much off that it rips the page. And I think even at that point, you could salvage it, just glue something else on top of it. Even if you have to just glue certain parts, 
and then glue something on the other side as well. But that wasn't the case with this one. It just left behind a little bit of what had been there, and I distressed over it. And then this is one of my favorite pages. I believe this piece of fabric came from Boho Daydreams as well. And I wanted sort of a wire, like a chicken wire cage effect. And the little bird, you can see behind it, who is free to fly away. Just see some stamping and layering there. And love the gold. Again, the gold fabric there. And that's from the wallpaper. And then the very last page has got this beautiful little vintage bird and my stamp bird song so that that is that I've been just having fun in this little journal working with layers working with distressing this one does have a lot of distressing and you can see how the pages turned out with using that technique of the paper the fabric strips and then sewing them in and I think now that I've done a few of these, I'm ready to the tutorial. As I've been saying, I started on it, which for me meant picking out what I'm going to use and making a couple more to be sure that I can show you how this turns out and you'll have success with it. So I'm going to list this one on my website. It's for sale. I also have a couple of Valentine journals and little packs. This will be listed on the website in just a little bit, and I will see you soon. Bye.